Hello and welcome to this demonstration of getting started with Double Helix lessons from CSIRO. First of all, what we're going to do now that you've got a subscription to Double Helix lessons is log in. So we will click the login button and enter your email address and password, uh, which you would have been given with your style subscription, and click login. Now you'll see a screen very much the same as the last one with a few minor differences. My name is at the top here. I've got notifications. And over on the left, there is a home button, which is what I'm going to click now. Now, this is Double Helix Lessons is built with the Style Education platform. So if you have a subscription to any other style products, they will also appear here. But today, I only have a subscription to Double Helix Lessons. So that's the only item that I can see in this list. And I'm going to click it now to access my content. I'm just going to minimize that. When you first sign up, you actually won't see anything here. So I have Earth and Space Science as natural disasters, but you won't have anything. What you will need to do is actually import the units you want from your lesson library. So first of all, we're going to click on the blue button here, Browse the Lesson Library and select Double Helix Lessons. And here I can see all the different units available to me with my Double Helix Lessons subscription. Now I, I can either just simply click on this blue button, add a copy of all lessons to my subject, which will immediately import them all, or if I want to have a look to see what each one is all about, I can click them individually, get an overview, see how they match to the curriculum, and then decide, yes, I want to copy this particular lesson to my folder. Click that blue button and close that tab. And now, let me just minimize that, I will see this new unit, Biological Sciences Fungi, has appeared in my dashboard. Fabulous. So once you're happy and you've, you're satisfied that you've imported all the units you're going to need, the next thing we're going to want to do is add our students and create a classroom. So up here in this green ribbon, we can see a number of menu items. We're already in lessons. And over to the right, we have students, markbook, and options. The markbook we will go through in another video. But for the moment, what we want to do is click on students. Now, I've already got some students signed up, some very smart looking students and some classrooms set up. However, you will need to add a new class by clicking Add Class, and then sign up your students. You can rename your class. And then you can either send your students an invite by clicking on this link and entering a code, or if you have the email addresses of your students, you can simply type them in this box down here and click on Add Students. Now, once you do that, they will receive an email which is similar to this one here with a link that they need to click to get started. And once they've accepted the invitation, then they will be added to your class list and you will see them appear here. Now, you will notice in addition to having your classes along the side, there's also a tab for teachers. And that tab is green. One great thing about Double Helix Lessons is that throughout the platform, everything is color coded. So if you are viewing something in teacher mode, then it is green, whereas students see things with a lot of blue. So for example, on the left here, I can see immediately that my teachers are written in green uh, font and the students, the classes underneath are blue, which show me instantly that they are classes. Also at the top here, my ribbon with my menu bar is also green, whereas the students actually see a blue menu bar, which is great for teachers because you can actually flick between teacher and student mode and instantly see which mode you're in as you're navigating Double Helix Lessons. So now that we're happy and we've signed up 
a class and all our students are, have accepted. Let's go back to the lessons. So, the first thing is, and here's this tab to click between student view and teacher view. So I'll just click that quickly to show you the difference. In student view, you have a blue ribbon, as mentioned, and you can also see slightly different things to what the teachers can see. But we will stay in teacher view. All right, here's a little overview of the anatomy of your unit. Looking at natural disasters, which is the free, the, tri the trial unit, which is available for free, uh, if you want to sign up, if you haven't actually paid for a subscription yet. And over on the left, you can see all the lessons that are part of your unit. And on the right, there's a little bit of an overview of what that unit is going to be all about. Some information on how to teach the unit, teacher's notes, notes on how it maps to the curriculum, and model answers and handouts. There are quantitative and qualitative questions throughout Double Helix lessons. So while the platform is very good, of course, at instantly marking any questions that have yes or no answers or multiple choice answers, there are some instances where your students might write their own answer into a variable text field, and that's where the handouts and model answers come in really handy. Okay, looking at the lessons on the left, We've got quite a number here that we can teach. And notice that we've also got these funny little markers here, my class and students. And my class, you might remember, is the new class we just set up. So what these are is perhaps you only want your students to view the first three lessons available in this unit so they don't get distracted and jump ahead to other content you're not ready to teach them. Just select my class and grab it and drag it down. And now you can see only the first three lessons have been highlighted. This means your students will only see those lessons and not any of the others. And if you are teaching multiple classes, this can be quite handy if your classes are uh, at different levels and working at different paces. So now that we have set up our units and added our students, and created a class, you are ready to teach Double Helix lessons from CSIRO. Check out the other videos available for other tips and tricks on how to edit, create new lessons, or use the Markbook. Thank you very much.